Hello everybody, welcome to CyberDucky. Today we will continue from the last video. We did a scan for um, from mass scan and nmap. So that we we try to find which server is open with port 21 and we found one is in uh, one is in uh, one one server which is port is running on 170 so from the scan we can we know there is a available port open in this server so same thing we can do change the directory so on the right side what you're seeing is mass scan on the left side you'll be seeing is in map so based on this two scan we know that there is one port is port 21 which is ftp is running so the difference between mass scan and in map what i can see or we can see is nmap give more information when it comes to scans and it's a little bit faster with more information but mass scan somehow in my case it doesn't you know it gives some trouble but it's also faster but it's again give only the port what is the port is open yeah i think that's much only we can compare these two uh, for uh, to continue from here i think we're using only nmap so i'll close this make it bigger this one i think moving forward i think i increase the size to maybe 18 yeah i hope it is clear so so we we'll start from here to find out what are the vulnerabilities and what are the services are running on port 21 we just did a little bit extra today should be anonymous password also anonymous yeah this time is successful you can see login successful and get information <clears throat> okay let's do ls so ls usually you know it gives what is inside there uh, passive mode this name okay dir sorry. directory okay they have this is the direct this is the only file they have that pass so let's see get web pass so we downloaded already let's use it ls cat okay so these are the web passwords this is getting interesting so what is basically it means is this this server might run in a web server within them so maybe this is the password to log in there so what we can do is we go back again to and map so do and map we scan port dash p on dash p sorry dash sn uh, dash cs the sc for all the ports meaning there is a <laughs> In a computer, there is 6,553 something ports. So we're going to scan all so that we can find out if any other service is running. Then, because I started with FTP, but I'm going everywhere. So let's give it a time and we come back. Oh, it's already done. So basically, it okay. It's, it's getting more, it's giving us more info now. So we only focused before only on 21, but it seems it has more other services running. 22 is SSH is running and it's running port 80. And we found the password list to log in here. And it has a MySQL and MSSQL X. Okay, so to double check, we just, you know, the IP address, we go to Just 
gp and Okay, this is the website is running. So there is a password somewhere we can log in. Okay, the problem is our password file is too big. We cannot try one by one. So we need automated tool. So let's see in the next uh, video, we'll dig more into this system and see how we can exit to exploit this so anyway in in one more thing what i'm doing is if you want to try the same thing at your place you can go to one hub called one hub so they've got a lot of uh, vulnerability machines here so i'm using bookshelf if i'm not wrong Book. I think the one I am testing is bookshelf one. Yeah, this is the one. So if you want to try with me, you want to test the same, you know, functions and want to, you know, try to hack this and see whether if you can get more, you know, hands-on experience, you can try this one. This is what I'm using. So stay tuned. I will come with another video with a more you know how to how we're gonna get into using you know these passwords that we found how to break into web and how we're going to exploit more you can see whether if we can use the vulnerability example we know this one is running port 21 so we need to see whether this on this one whether whether any other uh, vulnerabilities like this one is running a vfs yeah, let's see this one copy go here and see <sighs> exploit see they got already some exploitations so let's get deeper in the next call uh, next uh, video so please share like and stay tuned for more informations and more videos. Thank you.